evening. Welcome to the meeting. Uh, open the meeting to the public. The public may address the board <clears throat> topic at this time. There will be another opportunity at the end of the meeting. Anyone? Okay. Uh, next item, minutes of the previous meeting of July, January 21st. Anyone note any errors, omissions, or corrections? I make a motion we accept the minutes as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bills, our center, are there any uh, additions or deletions? No, not. No. Any comment on the bills from the board? I make a motion that we uh, accept the bills as printed. Second. Make a motion to the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any correspondence? Uh, Ms. We, we have one this evening, and this is informational focuses. It's a renewal advisory notice. Sure. Notice is hereby given that a license number 2211560 for beer, liquor, and or wine has been applied for. Renewal by the undersigned to sell beer, liquor, and or wine at retail in a bar under the alcohol beverage control law at 90 Montgomery Street, Rouses Point, New York, 12979 County of Clinton. It is John A. Mod doing business as Latitude 45 LLC. The business is Latitude 45, signed by John Mod. That, that's informational only? Okay, yes. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay, reports to the mayor and trustees. I have a resolution for the inspectors of election, whereas pursuant to Article 15, Section 116 of the 1979 State of New York Election Law, the Board of Trustees of the Village of Rouses Point is charged with adopting a resolution appointing the inspectors of election, appointing a chairperson thereof, and fixing their compensation. Therefore, the Board of Trustees of Village of Rouses Point does hereby resolve that the inspectors of elections shall be Mary Rassico, Chief Inspector, Mario Lefebvre, Inspector, Claude Letourneau, Inspector, Nancy Baker, Inspector, and Donna Bowmill as alternate. The chair per chairperson shall be Mary Rassico. The compensation shall be fixed at $13.27 per hour and $12.46 per hour for the inspectors. I move that to the floor for a second. Second. Okay, roll call vote. Trustee Arnold? Aye. Trustee Dart? Aye. Trustee Menard? Aye. Trustee Gadway? Aye. The mayor votes aye. Um, This wholesale power. Thing. Okay. That's part of the letter that's in there with. Um, right. Yes. Everyone get a copy of the MEUA letter? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's a contract extension negotiated between MEUA and the New York Power Authority. Uh, it's been approved by the governor. Extension goes through the year 2040. This week, uh, NIPA will distribute a uh, new contract extension directly for your system's execution. Uh, we need a resolution of our governing body to execute the contract. We recommend that uh, accept this extension hydropower, hydropower allocation. Okay, um, I'll offer this resolution 2020-05. Uh, be resolved that the Village of Rouse's Point Board of Trustees hereby approves the execution of the agreement for the sale of Niagara Project Wholesale Power and energy. Uh, move that to the floor for a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, we have, um, <clears throat> we had uh, bid openings. We requested engineering services for the water treatment plant. We received uh, a response. Um, you all have, a, have had a copy for about a week now. Um, what this, what this um, plan put forward, they, they've already computed, completed the RFP. That's the part we did before. The next part will com be comprised of pilot testing. We'll uh, run a test run in about a month or two to determine uh, the operating parameters of the microfiltration equipment will actually work. Um, they're going to drill 
uh, a minimum of six 20-foot deep soil test borings at the proposed site of the new water treatment plant up by the water tower. And um, they will handle, the proposal here will, they will handle all bid specifications for the subcontractors who actually construct the, um, the facility. And they will um, solicit the funding applications for various grants. Um, there's one kind of a time sensitive thing here is that the New York State EFC Drinking Water State Revolving Fund makes their awards, I believe, in July. No, that's, uh, that's when the applications do for the. Right. So, the, the reason that that's kind of critical now is in the past, for other grants that the villages had, we've never um, we've never been considered a hardship, and now we are for some reason. Um, nobody's ever been able to really ex explain the formula that they use for computing this at the state level, but apparently we fall into that now. So <coughs> we'll be able to get a lot better deal on potential grants and loans uh, than we would have in the past on other projects. So um, I think that we should award this, this uh, contract for engineering studies to the or engineering uh, for the uh, water treatment plant. So any comment or discussion from the board? We should move on while we can to get that zero percent interest for the <coughs> hardship. Yeah, that's not completely guaranteed, but this is the best shot we got for it. The only question I had I asked him about uh, the piping for instead of ductile under the uh, PVC piping. Both are, you can do either or whatever the most prefers. Both will do the job and last a long time. So. Any other comments? I've got a question on, uh, on funding. Uh, these charts that we're looking at yeah. indicate the amount of uh, average grants, grant awards. And uh, the average grant award is $1,935,000. What did, in, in a previous proposal, you stated that we would possibly qualify for grants for around three million. Yep, so the, the program- Are grants not involved in this one? Nope, it's, uh, it's at the same EFC, Environmental Facility Corporation, with their Water Infrastructure Improvement Act grant money. So for water, it's a max of three million or up to 60%. So some of these, Projects that are listed were are under you know three million, so they only they maxed out at sixty percent of the cost for the project. So okay, so every every project you've got to look at on these sheets, uh, you would say that the, uh, the the max on some of these comparable would be around three million. Yeah, it's over the very ones it's three million, and they have a scoring system, so sometimes you may not get the max, right? But they'll give you some. So it's depending on the, because it is a, a competitive grant or however, we've been extremely successful. Two years ago, we, uh, while we had money, we got our clients about 17% 17 of what we've given out across the state. So we kind of know what they're looking for and we put the best application in for you. Okay. Some of these figures concern me as far as the amount of the grant award and the amount of the project cost. I just, well, I see one here that's, that's uh, 6.3 million and, and they did get 3 million there. Mm -hmm. which, but that's rather the uh, one example, not the norm in here. Oh, um, some of these have sewer on there. Okay. So sewer is a different limit. Okay. That's up to three million or twenty-five percent. Okay. So if you see where it says sewer next to it, so we're on so they're only gonna get twenty-five percent of the total yeah. cost. So. Okay. Any further discussion? On the money. What's that? Because that's the only question I have is on the money. Any questions? 
questions on the schedule or anything and how we were looking to proceed with the project? No. I'll lead it up for you all last time. Okay. Okay, we need a motion to award this bid to Barton with Judas. Uh, total of the fee is $1,127,000. Uh, engineering studies and supervision of construction related uh, tasks. Make a motion to award this to Barton with Judas. You have a second? Second. A uh, roll call vote, <coughs> Trustee Arnold? Aye. Trustee Dart? Aye. Trustee Menard? Aye. Trustee Gallagher? Aye. The mayor votes aye. Okay. Um, I'd like to request an executive session to discuss a pr proposed acquisition of real property. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I'd like to just. Okay. On uh, discussion of um, Academy Street completion, um, we need to decide how we're going to do that so I can figure out the budget on this. As you know, last year we were supposed to do Pine Street uh, curbings and repaving and Academy Street. We got Pine Street done, we ended up replacing all the curbings. Those streets are approximately, both of them are about a little over 700 feet long. So times two, it's like between 14 and 1,500 feet of curbings. Um, Pine Street, the curbings were in really bad shape and they'd sunken down or the street had come up, however you want to look at it. Academy Street, and that took all summer to do that. And they didn't have enough time to complete um, Pine Street. They didn't have time to complete Academy Street. They just uh, did the repairs on the, on the sewers and catch basins and stuff, but they didn't do anything with the curbs. And we just put the base coat of, of asphalt on the ground and everything. Now, that street, in consultation with the public works supervisor, looks to me like it needs about four or 500 feet of new curbing to replace bad curbing. The problem is, our metal forms don't match the existing curbing that's there because those were put up with wooden forms. Is that correct, Trustee Arnold? Yes. Now, the board has to decide we want to have them construct some wooden forms, cut out the parts that are broken, replace them to match, and finish the job up in a reasonable amount of time. Because if we don't, if it takes weeks and weeks like it did last summer, we're not going to have any time to do sidewalk reconstruction. So we're going to decide which way you want to go, and then it still needs to be paved, but that's not a big deal, because paving is a, you know, it's done by the county, that's a day or less. Well, I thought we talked about this last year, and the money was in the budget to do Academy it's Street. It's not the money, Benny, it's the time. It's the time. If you do another, if you spend all summer on one street again, It'll be like three years in a row with no sidewalks. Uh, we want to fix Academy Street. We're going to fix it right. I think we should go the full right straight up from one end to the other with the new curb. Well, we've got a full crew this year too. So That's right. Should, and then we can have people doing sidewalks on the same time we're doing the curbing. Yep. I, I agree. It's up to you. I'm asking for your input because I I'm making a budget up, and I got to know how much we're going to be able to do in here. We're going to do it. We should do it right. Well, it's a question of if it's right or wrong. It's it's not really. I don't know. It was it was very time consuming to do it the way that we did it last year. Well, like I said, we're going to do it. We're going to do it right and go from one end to the other. That's what I recommend. Okay, Trustee Arnold has a proposal to replace all the curbings. A second on that. I'll all in it. favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay. We can do it all. Um, okay, that's all I have for right now. <coughs> Trustee Arnold? Uh, there's a training session for OSHA. Uh, it's in February and it's on trenching. I'd like to send uh, Public Works and uh, 
electric department to that. There are nine people. It's an all day affair. Where is it? Plattsburgh. 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 Yeah. And they might have to get a little overtime, an hour overtime or something, because it's right until 4.30 or 4 o'clock, something like that. Because it starts at uh, 8, it goes to 4.30. So if they leave here at 7.30, they should get down there in time. But yep. they don't know when it's going to end. If it ends a little early, they should be back in time. But if it goes right till 4.30, obviously, they're going to have another half hour. And when is that? It's in February. February. Yeah. Uh, the latter part, I guess. And it's in the north right end now. of Plattsburgh. So it's... Yeah. yeah. So if we have an emergency or something, we can... Well, that, well that's the thing. If we have you know, a snowstorm or something, we can't send everybody. Right. But yeah. we signed up for nine, nine slots. They cost like 290 234 dollars. So anyway, it yeah. looks to me like it's pretty That's valuable right. training. There was money in the budget for that. Yeah, we have yeah. training for that. So yeah. okay. Anything else? Yes, I'd like to send Jason Juno to the next MEUA annual meeting to get involved with the MEUA and stuff and you know with contacts and stuff like that. And, I don't know if we've ever, have we ever sent anybody from, from the electric department to that? Sure. Yeah. yeah we, I don't know. I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Know what, uh, it's question. only to the annual meeting and stuff. It's the, right. the mayor usually goes too. I know. I've been to him. Yeah. But I never remembered. Well, maybe. I've been to Maybe they before. did like, you know, maybe before, because they went to different classes than I went to. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Also, I'd like to get Jason Juno a red key for the buildings. He doesn't have a master key. If something happens or whatever, and I mean, you can't get in the building. I mean, you know, you should have a red key, or at least down to the central garage. A red key. Well, if we give out a red key, it's got to be issued to an individual. You just can't oh. have one that anybody take. Okay. Right? Well, I mean, that's like us. We got red keys before. When you were, you mean when you worked in electric or? No, right now. We have red keys. Do you? Sure. Oh. Okay. Well, the whole, all the trustees in the mayor do have red keys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wasn't aware of that, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. And also on the on the plowing of the snow or cleaning up the main street uh, last snowstorm, there was four cars on the main street that stayed all night from the corner of uh, State Street over to or the corner of Montgomery Street over to almost to the coffee shop. And four <coughs> cars parked there all night long and half the day, and they couldn't clean the street. Couldn't get nobody to come out and move their cars or nothing. Anybody notice, notify the sheriff? Not that I know. Because that's who's responsible for enforcing that parking ban. Okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. Anyhow, I'd like to see somebody something done with it or whatever, so they can clean the streets. And stuff. Yeah. And the last thing is uh, Johnny Bernard is working on uh, mine truck to uh, fix one of the compartments, pretty rotted out and stuff. It's pretty bad. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you, Trustee Bernard. I have nothing for this evening. Okay, Trustee Oops, Trustee Dart, <coughs> nothing. Trustee Gadway? Uh, just a couple things. The girls' locker room is coming along nicely. You see they got the door on, the walls all up. And they added outlets in there, besides the ones they just they did have. And I'd like to have Ethan is asking for authorization to have special events uh, to have discounted for. Uh, either locals, veterans, for public skating, stick and puck, or even ice rentals. I know with the uh, end of the season coming up, a lot of teams are getting done. <clears throat> and just to get generate more sales. Yeah, this has to do with, um, he has some surplus hours available. And as you know, the board sets the hourly rates for these different things. And he's asking for permission to uh, negotiate just different rates for these unscheduled hours that came up, which is a good idea, I think, because it's, it's, it's money coming in. It's not 
during regular scheduled time or anything like that. Just if he doesn't fill it with somebody, you get zero for it. Yeah. just have to realize that just till the end of the year. Right. Yeah, just for the, and just for these right. oddball hours that came up. You want to make that in a form of motion to authorize him to uh, negotiate on those? So I'll make a motion for him to authorize that? Yeah, or the board's authorizing him to negotiate those <coughs> miscellaneous hours. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. And yeah, that's all I have to see. Okay, thank you. Well, let's see. Mr. Cooper, you have anything for us tonight? Just the fact that the county came back to me with all the paperwork to get our files in line from the compliance. I'm working on 2019 now, which was my first year, but there's eight years behind that. There is no paperwork, so it's going to take a while. Okay. Ms. Sullivan? Well, the library's gearing up for the census, which will be done online for the first time this year. We're buying one new computer that's in our budget, and the Friends of the Library are buying us a second new computer. So during those census times, we'll have at least one computer that is um, for census only. And then we'll see what the traffic's like. If, if we need to make a second computer for census only, we can do it. But we'll have um, them up and running and with the proper security on them to do the census at the library. Okay. Anything else? Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask the trustees, I'm missing some budget papers from Fire Department, Fire Department, Public Works, Recreation, and a couple of smaller departments. I need those by tomorrow. They were due in the 21st. So, anyways, if you guys could get them to me as quick as you can. I signed off everything on Public Works, and I'm not, I'm not sure what Adam did with them. And as for, as for the clerk, I made a little sticky note where right I thought something could be cut. Public works and rec are on your desk. I brought those okay. today. Tonight? Okay. Were they the ones that I had corrected? Yeah, you were signatures on. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I, had gone I to just got Mr. LeBlanc's tonight. You want them? I didn't go over them. Why don't you look over and give them to me tomorrow? You know, we look over in the morning. You got time in the morning to look them over? Yeah. And just throw them on my desk in there? Okay. So I'm not going to do anything with tonight anyways, but you get the historian, yeah? Yeah, I already proved all hers. Okay. Okay. Um, open the meeting back to the public. Making the public pushing address the board and do so. No? Yes. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, Ron Block, I understand you just uh, passed a, a resolution to award over a million dollars in contracting funds. Uh, when I was on the board, uh, I believe we were told that the current water plant would survive at a minimum until 2028. I'm just pointing out the fact, eight years now, we've got to spend lots of taxpayer money. And last, when I was on the board, it wasn't an issue. That's all I have to say. Well, I don't know where you heard that, because I didn't hear that. Like, I, I heard that that thing's living from day to day, practically. We've made some big improvements in it in 2017, but it's... Uh, it's definitely on its last legs, and it's very expensive to operate with the way it is manpower intensive, and this new one is not going to be that way. Okay, anyone else? Yes, sir. I've got something. You can go first. Just identify yourself as a clerk, please. Yep. Uh, Nicholas Southwick, just president. Um, I'm a soft boy, so let me know if you can't hear me. Uh, I was just looking for clarification. I was watching the video of the board a couple of weeks ago. Yep, I did actually watch it. Uh, it was it was an electric plan. It was to increase, I think, the megs. I mean, megawatts to twelve. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, I think that's well, yeah. was the PLM yeah. study. That's the PLM, well, the PLM, PLM study. study. If, if, yeah. we, if we develop, if we develop the fire, Pfizer property, right, we could go up to the twelve megs of power. Right. I think the mayor went over about three. Options well, there's two scenarios, it's both hypothetical on what it would affect the rates if we went to 4 meg or 12 meg. And, of course, we're going to be doing that at some point, hopefully, because we hope to get tenants in there that are going to be using power. And that's part and parcel of getting new industry in town. No, I do. There was a, something mentioned about what to do with the 
revenues, either something about a substation on the north end of town, or I think another option was a, was a, was a rebate, that sounds familiar? Yes. Yeah. Does the board have the option if they, for example, if they decide, okay, we need that substation sooner rather than later, that they can go that route? Do so they have that flexibility? Yeah, we could. It's not. It's not simple, but it could be done. Okay. I mean, any anything can be expanded in, in the electric. It's just depending on when the opportune time is it, when, when the funding is available. If you have to do it when the funding is not available, um, like say we lose our status as this, this depressed area, it could double the cost of the project, for instance. Because you wouldn't get the, the, the grant, you wouldn't get it would be a low cost loan or a grant, and the low cost loans are never low cost when they're extended out over years. And we found that out with the fire truck. They brought four hundred thousand dollars cost us with, with one and two percent loans. We paid ninety six thousand dollars in interest on that. So I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Clarify that because. But we can do. We can. You know, if it's. If the board deems it's in the best interest of the village, or there's an emergency or something, we can always buy something. It's just a question of if you can buy it in an economically opportune way to do it, or if you have to do it because it's an emergency and you just have to do it. You know. I was chatting with a friend who had sitting behind me. Yeah. He did mention that the north side of town. Yeah, the north side of town. The north, north side of town, town would use a substation, but. Rebates are a nice idea, so I think flexibility is a good idea. Yeah. Well, the at one time, at one time, like when Pod first started building down there, Victor Pod, and the other buildings and stuff, we thought that we might need a substation down there. And well, that was 35 years ago or so. So I mean, well, we talked about it and stuff like that, but it wasn't feasible. We had the power to go down there, so. For that, as I understood it, correct me if I'm wrong, Trustee Arrow. The, the buildings you see down there are about the limit that can be handled on um, right. the amount of power that goes down there now to expand more than that to do their phase two and three and add extra commercial development down there would require a substation and they didn't choose to um, participate in that 20 years ago or 30 years ago whatever it was oh, least, yeah. so they've got you know what they've got is what they've got down there Yes. Uh, the new water treatment plant will still be pumping from the lake, right? Correct. Uh, I, I just wanted to clarify because the mention of the test wells, I wasn't sure what that was over. Because mentioned there's drilling two test wells there. Uh, there's soil warnings. So we can oh, find the foundation. Oh, so, okay, soil bore, good warnings. Yes. So yeah. find, find out what you're building on. We need to find out what we, yeah, what we're building on, make sure we have the right seismic classifications and all that fun stuff. Yeah, because all fill or something. That's why they're full. more boring than normally to make sure we have the right spot. Yes. Okay. Okay, anything else? I want to entertain a motion to recess. Second. So All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for coming. Thank you.